Here's how to remove background objects or people from your photos in iOS 18. Now, if you've upgraded your iPhone to iOS 18 and you have Apple intelligence enabled, you can always remove any sort of object or person, or you can edit any photo using that Apple intelligence. So I'll show you how to do it, but first hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now let's open up these settings here and we're gonna tap on general and software update we need to make sure that we have iOS 18.1. So essentially Apple intelligence is available in iOS 18.1 or later. If you haven't upgraded or updated your iPhone, just update to the latest 18.1. However, keep in mind there is other requirements. So if you've updated your iPhone, you also need an iOS or an iPhone 15 or an iPhone 16. So iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 16 Pro, and then there you can see Apple Intelligence and you can toggle it on. After we've done that, let's hop into the Photos app and tap on a photo here. So you can see a little paint chips and a little paint card here. Now, a cool feature is right next to the eye at the very bottom is that little slider. I can tap on it. Now I can tap on Clean Up it will start to analyze this specific photo. And it says tap or brush what you want to remove. So anything in the background, an object, let's say on here, I want to remove those paint chips and just have that paint uh, kind of card here. So I can just take my finger and swipe all the way around it. And just like that, it removes it. And it does a really good job removing that. Now keep in mind, let's say I want to remove the entire card here. So I'll do the entire card. And sometimes this works better than others. It says try a smaller area. Let's say I wanted to remove this text. I can circle it here and see it does a pretty good job removing it. Now let's go over, let's just hit cancel and discard. And let's go over to a different photo. Let's say one and we want to remove a person. So tap on the little sliders again and clean up. Now on here, if you wanted to remove a person, you can circle them and depending on how big they are, it says try a smaller area. So it might work or might not work. You can do smaller things like remove logos and stuff, but keep in mind, it doesn't always work perfectly if there's a lot of texture or a lot of things going on. So let's say if I wanted to remove this hat and it doesn't really let me remove the hat very well. So if I go out of here again, there are various photos that it works better for removing objects in the background or people in the background, but sometimes it doesn't work perfectly depending on that specific photo. So you'll have to try that photo, see if it works out for that specific one and it might work, it might not. You can always just try to download and install a third party app like Photoshop or any other photo editing app and see if that one works better on a specific photo that's giving you trouble. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.